So I'm going to delete the uh, the old uh, thumbnail I have. So just bear with me for a minute. Ay, ay, ay. This is such a pain in the behind YouTube. It's getting to a point I don't even want to use it anymore for live. Manage, go manage videos. Go live. Click, get that one. You're going to get rid of this one over here. Delete forever. Yes, yes. Now let me put a title and a description in this new one. Okay, just, just bear with me for a couple of minutes, guys. It's the same old baloney every time. You know how it is. Okay, put that in there. And now we're going to put a description in my title. Everything but the tags. Okay, and then I'm going to share it over to my Facebook group. Okay, and then I'm going to put the more, go into the more settings, put my tags in. Tags are just so that people can search the video and uh, just bear with me with this, guys. Show less, show more. Tags here. Tags, no, it's not. Okay. Stop. That tag, there we go. Ay, 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 ay. What a pain in the behind. Oh, my goodness. Now let's go back to my YouTube Live. Go into that. There we go. Make sure I got volume. Okay. Now I'm going to share that out to my Facebook page. Like my video. Share. Why? Copy. Ay, ay, ay. Son of a gun. Okay, let's share it again. Share. Share, 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 and like. Share the group. Uh, group. One's Keto Cafe. Share that. Okay. And then they go back to Facebook. Uh, Edit the title, edit post. Okay. okay, let's get rid of that one. Move the trash, yes. Ah, things you gotta do, guys. I'm telling you, really, really, really. Trash. See video. Delete post. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now, now I'm there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Now I'm gonna kill that one. Hey. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So the. Uh, Okay, let me, I'm going to take my headphones off because I, I, I wanted to make sure I was getting volume, and I'm getting volume. So you might hear the central heating come on today because it's very, very cold last night. It's down to the 20s. Yeah, I know, huh? Well, welcome in. Today is Monday morning. It is uh, November 13th. It is very cold out. It is about 20 degrees outside. Uh, Donna has got an appointment this morning. Well, actually, about a, uh, noon time. And uh, howdy, uh, yeah, how are you, you fine this morning? Yeah, we're doing good this morning, actually. Um, I'm just a little bit disappointed at myself a little bit because I've been going through some depression. And uh, if you're dealing, if you know anybody that's uh, had problems with depression, let me just turn down. I want to turn down this volume so I don't have to hear it on an echo. There we go. Yeah, so if you know anybody that, that deals with depression, it could be a terrible thing. And uh, I've been dealing with a lot of issues, uh, some little bit of health issues by my uh, left hip. And my, uh, I've got a problem with my uh, uh, hamstring. I got a little bit of hamstring tear and I'm just trying to deal with it the best I can until it heals and uh, continue on with the journey and continue on with the uh, walking. And uh, so first of all, thank you all for coming in. Uh, if you're new, welcome. If you're a returning member, welcome back. And if you're a new member, could you please share, like, and smash that subscribe button and hit the uh, like button for me. And uh, 
I'm not a doctor, don't make any medical claims. This is all based on my own personal journey. So this is uh, week uh, 169 and 170 coming up. And, uh, you know, I had my weight down to 203 pounds last year, around G June or July there when I got hip surgery last year. And I felt pretty good. I'm down to like a medium size shirt at the time. Now I'm back up to a 1X shirt and I don't like it. My stomach has been getting bloated because I've been making some bad food choices. And I don't have any pity parties. I just tell it like it is. Uh, my weight ballooned up to around 240 pounds, and, and uh, you know, so whatever it is, to, that's the central air condition, if you can hear that. So, um, you're going to have a sip of my coffee, favorite cup of coffee first. So, I'm getting a lot of technical difficulties trying to sign into YouTube with the camera, because what's going on with the camera, it seems like it won't let me... Um, I think it has to do with because my account's not uh, uh, monetized yet. So when I do a, a schedule, I can go onto my computer and do it that way with no problem. But it's just getting into my camera to have it so I can have it horizontal and not vertical. And I'm having a lot of issues with that and uh, getting coming in first thing in the morning. So, yeah, so uh, I've been up this morning since 4 o'clock. And I, I slept pretty good last night. I've been taking some nighttime medicine there to help me sleep because I've been... I've been getting run down a lot with my cold and everything, and the cold's a lot better, but I was, last week I was doing a lot of hacking and whatever, and that seems to be all cleared out of there now, and uh, now I passed the buck along to my wife, so she's not feeling well. So you know how it is, when one person is not to do well, one is family, and the other, you usually wind up giving it to everybody else at some point or other. So today we're going to make an uh, egg omelet in the, uh, using the Indian induction cooking with uh with the uh new device that i got last week and uh yeah and you know and uh so uh what we're going to do is we're going to do uh i got six eggs out on the room temperature in a bowl we're going to put a little bit of salt pepper in everything i'll taste maybe a little garlic powder onion powder to speed up the time i already got a little bit of a red uh bell pepper chopped up and we're going to put that in there we're going to mix everything up together with a little bit of uh, light cream because I don't have any heavy cream. The heavy cream that I had expired, so I had to get rid of it. And uh, Or you can put milk in your omelet, and uh, we'll put a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of uh, avocado oil in the pan to get that going nice and hot. And then we'll uh, cook it over the, the, uh, the induction cooking. And that what that is, it's a, it's a, it's a stove top away from your stove top, and it pushes up a lot of hot air into the device. And it cooks everything all up nice and evenly. And uh, I made some uh, bacon last week, some Seneca bacon that I bought. Some um, the uh, Black Label brand, brand because I can't get the regular Market Basket brand anymore. At least for the last three or four times I've gone and they haven't had the Market Basket brand. Now the bacon right now is uh, I paid six ninety nine a pound for that. It's expensive. And uh, the, the other bacon, if I get the uh, bacon from the uh, KM family, they want nine dollars a pound. Four years ago, we were paying two dollars and under two dollars a pound for bacon. I mean, everything's going up, and they give you, they're charging you more than they, for less. You know, the standard American way now, charge more for less. You know, I, I noticed that with another bad choice that I made. I bought some of those club crackers. I love those. And the problem with that is, I wind up eating a whole stinking box in one sitting. So you got to be really careful with the stuff, guys, because again, bad food choices. And I, and I saw something else that we hadn't had in a while. It was the, uh, from Kraft Family, it was the pimento, um, if, if you could put like, uh, it's a spread. And they had three different spreads. And, and uh, so I bought one the other day. And uh, what I'm going to do with some of that is over the holidays, I'm going to take some celery and I'm going to stuff some celery and uh, have that for a snack. But, um, you know, that's okay. But as long as you, you know, you're, you're vigilant on how much carbs that are in there so you don't go over your carb count. So to get myself back on track, guys, we're going to do an egg fast starting today. Now, I'm going to gradually get into the egg fast and go into the egg fast for, uh, going forward for the next three or four days. So basically what an egg fast is, is just basically eggs, butter, and cheese. That's it. And technically, you're supposed to eat one egg a half an hour after you get up in the morning and uh, three to four eggs at least every three to four hours, regardless of whether or not you're hungry or not. And you can fix the eggs up any way how you want to fix them up. Uh, the half an hour when I get up in the morning, yeah, that ain't going to happen because I'm up all hours in the night. 
I have the problem with my hip, and then what happens is I just get up and I can't get up. I, I, I get up and I can't sleep anymore, so I'm, sometimes I'm up at 1 o'clock in the morning, like last night's been no exception. So um, um, when I feel as if I'm ready to eat, that's when I'm going to start eating, and then I'll go with the, uh, the protocol of eating the three to four eggs every three to four hours. And typically when I do an egg fast, what's really great about that, I got a lot of water bloating my tummy and I can feel my tummy really sticking out. And I don't like it like that. And it feels like that sick feeling. And you, you guys all been there, you know what I'm talking about. And that'll help my body to get back into ketosis. By getting into ketosis, if you're doing 20 net carbs or less a day, you're going to start burning your fat for fuel. And that's how they've been so successful. Now I've been going back to my older videos from when I first started the ketogenic lifestyle in 2020. And my first uh, three weeks that I was on keto, I, I was I, I lost almost 14 pounds and it was all water weight. And then I was 365 pounds. And uh, yeah, and I was a lot, I was heavy. Hi, good morning, T Tamika. Yeah, that was, uh, yeah, I'm glad you guys are all able to get in on uh, Anne Marie's uh, uh, um, game night last night there. She did a giveaway because we hit level 19. So I'm, I'm trying to figure that part out. I, I know I have to open up another tab, get the game going, and then share the link over to StreamYard and get it going that way. But on the bottom of the StreamYard, it's giving me some things for a time there, a timestamp, and I'm not really sure how to set that part up to go live so we can play games like Game Marie. And th there might be another couple more games that we can play, you know, you know, that's something different than what she does. But what I'm thinking of, because uh, she likes to do Sunday and Wednesday night when she's not tired. And uh, I was thinking about maybe Saturday night would be a good night for us and maybe possibly Monday or a Tuesday night. You, you know, and, and uh, we can set it up around the same time, like around 7 o'clock or something like that for about an hour. And uh, then I'll do some cash giveaways too. I'll, I'll probably do some Amazon gift cards or Walmart gift cards or something like that. And uh, I think that would be very, very cool to do. And uh, I don't mind giving back because I love giving back to the community. So my weight right now in my next video, I will, uh, when I start doing uh, some cooking, uh, some videos for you guys for egg fasting. So if you're struggling and you want to get back on track, then you could you could just replay my videos and, and, and go forward. We're going to make a lot of shaffles. Uh, shaffles is a little mini waffle maker machine, and uh, it's a staple in the ketogenic lifestyle, and they're kind of like eggos. And, then, and the easiest uh, method that I had found so far is the easy peasy shaffle recipe that I, I, I developed. It's the uh, cent Sargento uh, Okra Thin Cheese. It has to be the Okra Thin Cheese. They make three kinds. They make the sharp cheddar, which is the square, they make the baby Swiss, which is a, a sway, uh, the square cheese, and they make the round provolone cheese. And that fits perfectly on those dash makers. And I'm gonna use all three cheeses, but on the square cheese, you just cut the ends off round, and you can use that, and the extra bit bites, you can put them on for a snack, and just put it right onto the dash, and so you, cause you don't wanna be throwing out the cheese. And then you just take one or two eggs, you whisk it, and I usually put salt and pepper in my egg, and I put a little bit of everything all seasoned bagel in, and then I'll whisk it all together, and then I'll just carefully put it over the mold, and make sure you put a plate or something over on the bottom of the mold, because in case you overfill your mold, and you close the lid and put in two slices of cheese, one on the top, one at the bottom of your egg mixture, and then after about three and a half minutes, you have a perfectly sized little round little uh, sandwich that you can use. For, and, and what we're gonna do with a lot of those, we're gonna use like a uh, egg salad sandwich, and I love, I love egg salad. That'll be that'll be for some of the meal, and uh, we can have uh, you know um, uh, I'll make the double egg ham sandwich. Sandwich and what we can do for mayonnaise, we can use the regular Hellman's mayonnaise, or in my case, probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my own egg uh, mayonnaise. We take one egg, we we'll put it in a largemouth mason jar, one cup of oil, uh, half of a squeezed lemon. When, of course, make sure they will get no seeds in it, a little bit of salt. And uh, think of a uh, tablespoon of Dijon mustard, and then we'll take um, a little bit of apple cider vinegar, and we'll we'll put the stick blender on over the top of the egg without breaking the egg yolk. Because if you break the egg yolk, it won't work. And make sure the egg is room temperature, and then we'll get it going with the stick blender, and we'll just kind of like work it and work it a little bit, and we'll gradually lift up on it. And then when you start seeing the white form, which is the mayonnaise, which is, it'll be solidifying. 
you'll you'll bring it up and then then at that point your egg is almost done after you get it all mixed in and incorporated and then we'll probably put a little bit of it either uh cayenne pepper or a little bit of paprika in it and uh that'll be our our uh, mayonnaise for the next three or four days and uh, i'll put it in a nice little glass jar speaking of glass jars i'm going to be sending out for a glass jar set coming up uh for, for next year because when I, I'm getting ready to launch a whole new YouTube channel for just uh, low-carb recipes, the name of the channel, I'm thinking there's going to be low-carb recipes with Ron. Because I, I don't want it to be isolated as just keto. And, uh, you know, when you look for keto meals, and go, well, that's not really keto, and I get it. But I just, I want to make sure that, you, you know, you, you're going to be aware of that. And, uh, you know, because my wife, she doesn't do keto, but she will eat some of my keto meals and... Uh, you know, she only weighs 120 of them. And, oh, it was, uh, yeah, when she went to the doctors a couple of weeks ago, they had to weigh her in 120. Well, I wish I could weigh 120, but that would be too low for me. My ideal weight for me is around 200 pounds. And I was all, I, I was pretty close to that last year. Like right? I said, I'm disappointed in myself, but the, the hard reality is depression's a real thing, and you just got to learn to just deal with it. I mean, we had debts in the family. We, we lost three relatives this year. I hadn't been happy with the city stuff. The new director took over the studio. And that's our eight o'clock whistle. Because <laughs> every, uh, at 8.03, the horn goes off at 8.03, 12.03, and it's 6.03. So I don't know how your towns do it, but that's what our town does. But anyways, so yeah, I went down to see my friend Rocco yesterday and I dropped off the um, uh, memorial thing that I did for uh, Muggsy was a uh, member. He passed away last year, and we did a nice memorial for him and their family. All got together this year on Veterans Day, and I put it all together for the family. And uh, he's going to finish it for me, and we'll be putting that up later. And I was talking to him yesterday, and I was talking to the uh, number of city council members and the mayor uh, Sunday at the parish. And they want me to open up another Facebook page, but they want me to do it for Lemister. So it probably I live in Lemister and Lemister, if that's how you pronounce it. And uh, you know, it's just, just so I can put strictly Lemister stuff on there. And uh, they all think it's a good idea. So um, I'll probably do that at some point. Now, as far as the studio goes, the last when I got my camera this Thursday, they accused me of breaking one of the cameras and breaking one of the batteries. The battery was all smashed in. The bottom of the base of the camera was broken off, and nobody said nothing about it. And, the, and, and according to their records, I was the last one to use it. And I said, that's BS. I never, I've been filming for those guys since 2012, and I've never brought a camera back like that. And if that would have happened on my watch, I would have owned up to it. I'm not getting accused of something I, I didn't do. Now, they just recently hired a whole bunch of new people. How do I know one of them didn't take it out and do that and just put it back without signing out for it? You know what I'm saying? So don't be accusing me. Because that's a, I'm, I'm done with I'm done with it. I'm going to give them my last film. I got two concerts left to go. I got to get a hold of the Colonial Band. Uh, they got a concert coming up in the middle part of December. And then uh, the Monitors of Corral got one coming up on December 3rd. Or that, or that Sunday. Whatever Sunday that falls on. The 2nd or the 3rd. And then I'm going to talk to him about it, you know, because I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not giving nothing back to the studio no more. They have a lot of public events. They're open to the public. And um, what I want to do is I want to take a lot of video and a lot of fo photographs, which I love the photos. You guys are going to really love the um, winter event that we have in our city, the Festival of Trees. I'll film that, do some nice background YouTube music, but Christmas music, because I don't want any copyright. And then when they have the stroll event, they have hay rides for the kids, you know, and they have the trolley that comes through. They have a guy that does an ice sculptor outside, and they have live entertainment, Santa Claus, of course. They have a lot of uh, vendors and food vendors, and they have free hot chocolate and all that stuff over there. And then afterwards, it's, they got a huge parade that comes through, and then they the mayor lights up the tree, and they, the mayor uh, does chestnuts over there at the in front of his store. And, and, and we all have a good time, but it's cold that day because it's winter. You got to dress for it, guys. You know, don't gloat about the cold air. You know, you know, just, you know, you know, dress for the occasion, you know. And, and I, I filmed all that for oh, at least 10 years. I filmed that. And they turned it into the studio. And now all of a sudden, he's pushing everybody away. I was talking to Jane uh, uh, Sunday, actually. Yeah. 
she she's she taught me how to film she's been here a lot longer than i have they offered her the position when the director left but she didn't want it so um and she was filming help she was helping him out for uh, veterans day and he's standing right behind her now she knows what she's doing all right and she's they have what's called they they got a big camera that goes over to your shoulder like this and it's got a big a, a back brace all right it, and the camera's quite heavy it weighs about 80 pounds and I've used it before, and, and, and you, 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 you have a zoom like that, and you got to strap to your back so you don't drop the camera. And she's used that right along. And, and he's standing over her shoulder, he's making her nervous. I said, get the heck away from me. I would have told her, get out of here. If you, get, if you don't trust me enough to film this, I'm going to put the camera down. You're the director. You take it. You, you film it and take it home with you. That's what I would have told him, you know, because I'm not dealing with that from somebody. You know, we don't need, you know, we're content creators, which I do for my YouTube channel. And that I, I learned a lot through the city, but it, it, it just ticked her off. And, I, and you know, you, we had something called, you guys probably remember this for the Vietnam healing wall. Well, that came into our city uh, a number of years ago. She was filming that live with that camera. Okay. And I was walking around with her with the, they have a long um, cord that goes out to the, the, the truck so you can film it live. You know, I'm holding the cord so we, nobody would trip over it, okay? But we, we, we don't need anybody watching over our shoulders. We know what we're doing with all this stuff. You know, they hide a bunch of new kids, and they're, they're all a bunch of idiots. None of, them, none of them know what's important to the city, and, and it's just the way it is. So I'm gonna break, I'm breaking away from that, and that's it. I'm going to put all my stuff up on my own new Facebook page, and if there's anything I think that you guys might like to enjoy, I'll share it with you guys on that. And I, you know, I and if I can get the connection when they do the winter parade, I'll probably go live with it and have like two separate cameras set up. But um, the studio camera set up there costs about three thousand dollars, and that's a lot of money. So it's for somebody to break a bat, and the batteries are seventy dollar batteries. You know, I would never turn in a battery like that. You know, you know. So that kind of really ticked me off. So I'm going to have to get at least two batteries. One usually comes with a camera, but I was pricing out the camera. It's just a camera alone at $1,700. And uh, they get a nice tripod and the shotgun that you need. And then you need a, 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 a nice, good, solid, heavy-duty tripod and some other stuff that I need. And, of course, the camera bag. And uh, then you need a, uh, I need a audio, what's called the audio zoom. It picks up your audio zoom. So when I'm doing concerts there, I can get the better of the audio. And uh, so that's the direction I'm going to be going to next year. I don't need the camera set up right now because I do have uh, a camera that I use. I use, um, yeah, th yeah, this is what I use. This is a Canon uh, camera over here. It's a video camera. And it's, it's great because I can, I can walk around it like this and take video. Or I can set it up on the tripod. And uh, so, so that, that works out great for me too. And uh, this I paid $600 for. So you can, you can see they're quite expensive. And uh, the only problem with that is the batteries take quite a while to charge up. They take a good uh, on on uh, they take quite a while to charge. I can I, I do use this on occasion on the overhead to uh, the the film video, but um yeah. So let me um grab out my tri and see that I'm trying on my tripod. I want to make sure I got my uh before we go in the front room and start cooking because my wife's hungry this morning. She's gonna make her an egg omelet too. Uh, I asked her if she wanted cheese in her, and she doesn't want cheese. So I got enough. I got enough time on my. I was just making sure the. Uh, I had battery on my, my my thing. So um, you're gonna. I'm gonna get pick the camera up. Uh, set that up in the back in the back in the front room and get going on the cooking process. Now I already got my eggs cracked and I, I'm gonna put a little bit of red pepper. I chopped up the red pepper really fine. Uh, just a little bit of it and then we're gonna put some salt pepper in our egg. A little bit of light cream in it and. Uh, it's another thing when you guys make your scrambled eggs there. Do you guys put uh, cream in it or uh, or milk? I mean, you can. I, I've done it without and with. And uh, but yeah, we'll put a little bit, maybe about a half a cup, and just to give it uh, a little flavor. And then we'll put a little a tablespoon or so of uh, butter in the pan. We'll uh, put a little bit of uh, avocado oil, get that going nice and hot, and then we'll uh, cook that up. Oh, by the way, on the stainless steel. I found out on the stainless steel, you have to have it at a hot uh, cooking temperature. And uh, when you heat it up, make sure you put a tablespoon of water in it. And what happens is when it, when the water pulls all in together, it means your pan is hot enough to use. And that's why my bacon stuck in the pan. 
And speaking of bacon, I had some bacon that was left over. I'll show you my bacon. I, uh, I don't cook it all the way through now. I cook it almost through. And then I finish it up in the air fryer when I do want it for a leftover. And I just, I have some bacon out there already done. And we'll put some bacon in with the omelet. I'll show you the bacon that I cooked. So I'm going to unplug this from the computer. And I, hope I won't lose the internet connection here. Okay, that's good. So let's pick up the camera and let's go into the kitchen and get cooking with Ron. And again, let me get the, the you know, you know it, you know it, you know the, uh, what I always say, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Let's go in the kitchen. I'm just going to try to keep the cat out of the room because he's a little monkey there and I don't want him to destroy all my stuff. I'll show it. I'll show you the cat if he's okay. I'm gonna, I'll give it. Before we get going, guys, I'm going to uh, flip the camera around over here. Show you where the, okay, this is my kitchen, my living room. Okay. Let's say good morning to Oreo. Say good morning, Oreo. Here's my cat, Oreo, huh? Beautiful cat. Sorry about the light. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> All righty, so now we're in the kitchen. Don't mind my mess, guys. It is what it is. So we're going to get going here. I'm going to get going. Move the camera down on an angle here. There we go. So I'm going to be putting my iPad on so you guys so I can watch any chat types. So if you got any questions for me, feel free to uh, ask me questions. Okay, so I got my iPad going. So we're going to, oh yeah, so I wanted to show you the bacon. This is the bacon I have right here. I just thought nice and crunchy it comes out in the air fryer, huh? So, oh, I got the uh, peppers already done. So I'm going to dump them right in. I got six eggs in here. There you go. Just bear with me for a second. I got to go get my cup of coffee. Nothing tastes better than a cup of coffee in the morning. You just take a little bit of salt and pepper. Again, everything to taste. A little bit of pink Himalayan, pink Himalayan salt. A little bit of pepper. You can put a little bit of onion powder in here and a little bit of garlic powder in here. This is the uh, garlic powder. This is the uh, McCormick seasoning. In case you were wondering, everything's all to taste. If you got any questions, feel free to ask me. I try to tell you no lies. So I just uh, eyeball it. This is normally I'd be putting heavy cream in here, but I don't have any heavy cream this morning. Just put a little bit of milk. And then I'm just gonna whisk it. Breaking up the eggs. You always want to, uh, when you're cooking with eggs, you always want to try to get them at room temperature. If you pinch for time, a helpful hint, you could just take a, your egg and you could put it in a small bowl and just run some warm water over it and that'll quickly bring it up to room temperature. So whatever this makes, it'll make, and you know, you know, I'll eat part of this and my wife will eat it. And if I have any left, I'll just put it in a bowl for later. So we got the, uh, that didn't take too long. That's the egg. Now let me uh, reposition the camera so you can see what's going on. So this is the, uh, the noise. Okay. You guys know I bought this. This is the new wave uh, in induction cooking. Really love using this. I need this type of pan. It came with the unit. This is all non-stick on the inside. 
And again, the stainless steel, if you're cooking with stainless steel, make sure you get them hot enough. So um, this has some pre-settings over here. So we're gonna go medium, I think we'll go medium hit, uh, maybe medium, maybe medium high, I think, medium high right here, 375, hit start, okay? Now that pan's gonna start to heat up. You're gonna, you're gonna already feel it. If you, if you lift that up, that shuts off. And it, 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 now there you go, okay? Plug out of the way. Got a little bit of butter we're gonna put in there, get that going. You can already see it starting to melt. I haven't done an egg omelet on this yet. I've done fried eggs on it before, but, and I really like how they came out. I'm gonna put a little bit of avocado oil. This is the avocado oil brand that I use. I also have this brand I haven't used yet. This is uh, that brand. This is very expensive avocado oil. Either either brand that you use is fine. I'm gonna put up about, probably put about a tablespoon or so of this. It's just to give it a really good flavor. You don't need much. This is non stick. Okay. See how long that takes to cook. Should be that long. Clean up all this mess afterwards. What do you think about my cooking skills, guys? Huh? So I got the iPad going. Oreo, 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 Oreo. <laughs> you do add milk. Okay, good. Yeah, I wasn't sure. I, I know you can. It, it, it tastes good either way. Like again, this is the first time cooking with the uh, induction cooking meal with the uh, cooking scrambled eggs. I guess you call them. Okay, we're gonna try to make an omelet. And I asked my wife if she wanted cheese and she said no. So I went down to Fox's uh, a few years ago, a number of, actually a number of years ago, and this is when he had the uh, breakfast buffet set up. And the guy asked me, he said, how do you like your eggs? I said, well, can I have them over easy? So he actually then he broke two eggs and he threw them out and started all over again. He goes, well, I would've taken those eggs the way they were. He goes, you know, man, so I, that's how much food they used to waste over there, you know? So they did away with that after the event happened in 2020. It was just too bad because they, they had a really good setup over there. So you just keep working your eggs till they're done. I got a set for 375. See, it doesn't take any, probably any time at all. You had some fresh parsley, you could put some fresh parsley on here and that stuff like that. And so so we're to get better involved in cooking there. Yeah, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get some fresh stuff. Like we got the fresh peppers in there this morning. I'm gonna be making a uh, later on probably Friday when I've done the egg bass, I'm gonna be making uh, something with uh, some beef steak tips and I'm gonna tenderize it and then I'm gonna uh I'm gonna be making a uh, uh, something with some soy sauce and something with the rest of the bell pepper that I have. And they, if you don't want to use up all that bell pepper, which is fine, you can chop it up like that and freeze it. They freeze well. It's always good to prep your food ahead of time. Let's turn that up around a little bit. Daughter and I are going to split up the eggs. So you guys didn't get my point. I was making earlier with the studio and how upset I was about that. I don't like being accused of something that I didn't do. 
Because they're gonna, what, what happened is if, if they prove that I did that, which I didn't, they're gonna take me to court and they're gonna try to get that money out of me to get a new camera outfit. And that's not gonna happen because I don't have the money, first of all. And second of all, I didn't break it. I'm very responsible with the camera stuff that I use. So again, if you just lift it out like that, it shuts off, see? Put that up back on and it works. If you left that off long enough, it would have an e error message on here because it just shuts off. I think they're pretty much done. What do you guys think, huh? Good? Just shut that off. Stop. Pause it. Just gotta pause it. it when you pause it, it's sh it, if you say like you were boiling water, the water would stop instantly on the pause and you hit the start button again. You start it. Start it and it's back on again. And it, and it starts cooking almost instantaneously. So that's really nice about this. Look at how nice and uh, the, the egg is. So I'll give part of this to my wife. Now I got two paper plates over here. Donna, your egg is wet, ready? Donna, your egg is ready. Okay, she's gonna, okay. And they, they, Okay, she's doing wash today. Look at that, guys, huh? So that's my wife's egg. So I'm going to put that aside so the cat don't get at it. And then, um, yeah, so let's unplug the unit because we're done with it. And uh, I'm not going to put the plate on that because I don't want to. Let's see. Put that on there for a second. Put my uh, knife out of the way. that over here to try the uh, iPad. I'm going to reposition the camera a little bit. Put this over here so you can see. There you go. So my question of the day is, how do you like your eggs? Do um, you like them scrambled? Do you, do you like them um, poached? Do you like them well done? Or do you like them, and you like them over easy? You like that little bit of egg yolk. So, so this pan's really easy to clean up, guys. I'll show you something. Let's take a clean piece of paper towel. What they do on TV? Things like that. Cleans up really easy. You guys like see easy cleans up. Huh? I'll run a little bit of warm water on it later and put a little bit of soap in it. But it, clean, it, does, it does clean up really easy. Eh? Now, put that into the sink. And then what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to give myself... So this is the bacon that came out nice and crispy. I'm going to give myself a few slices of the bacon because I love bacon. Don, I'm going to leave yours on the counter, so whenever you're ready, you can have yours, and I'm going to yeah, go in the back room. That's okay. It is, that's my wife's, and this is mine. You know, look good, guys. Let's go in the back, let's go in the back room and just talk. Sure, my cat doesn't get in my room. Uh, 
he behaves, but he gets into a lot of mischief, and after about five minutes, it, then it's all over for my room. <laughs> okay, we're back. Hang on, I'm just going to straighten out the camera angle. Here we go. Still working on the same cup of coffee. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah, so the, the mess is an easy cleanup mess. Um, now, I haven't got any um, cheese on that omelet because, right, again, we got, we're gradually working ourselves in, into the uh, into the uh, egg fast today because I wanted to finish up the bacon because I don't want to throw out anything. But look at this, guys. Didn't it come out really great? Good. I haven't had eggs. Um, this kind of egg in a while, like a, like a scrambled egg. And, uh, good. It's good bacon. Look at that. It's all good. So, I hope you enjoyed the uh, video this morning. We're almost 45 minutes of time this morning there. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's, again, that's my central air conditioning going off. But look at the I love having the color in the eggs because when you make your food attractive, it's more pleasant. You know, like when you're going to a restaurant, quality eggs are going to act, huh? No. I love the uh, peppers, and uh, what, I, what I typically will do is I'll buy the different uh, colored peppers, and I'll, I'll chop them all up, and I'll put them in a the freezer ziplock bag, and I'll freeze the uh, peppers so I can have them for meals and stuff. Because they all get the, uh, the the full different taste. Oh, it's so good. Now, here's the thing about eggs. You're going to eat them any time of day. Eggs aren't just for breakfast anymore. But since we're doing an egg fast, and I'm, um, I'm doing, you know, i got to be careful now going forward. So I want to try to get rid of some of these unwanted pounds so I can feel good about myself again. Because I don't want to feel like I'm Hulk Hogan and my my or the, the Incredible Hulk there when my clothes are going to bust out because they're not fitting no more. So, uh, you know, going forward, yeah, we're gonna, this is how we're going to get back into ketosis. And the, and the only reason why I'm eating the bacon today is because I'm just trying to get rid of the the, uh, the oddball stuff in the refrigerator because I don't want to throw out anything. Everything's too expensive to be thrown out. But, uh, yeah, it's good. Bacon is good any time of day. I, mean, I I love bacon. Bacon is a good snack. I made some, uh, not not polite to talk to your mouth full, huh? I made what's called bacon knots a while back ago. There, yeah, those came out really good. And uh, so what I did was I took some bacon and I tied it into knots and I put it in the air fry for about 20 minutes until it was fully cooked. And hi Bob, what's good morning? Ron, good to see you. Breakfast, three eggs. Yeah, I made some scrambled eggs this morning. Actually, an egg omelet I made. Uh, I took six eggs and I put a little bit of red uh, red bell pepper in. And I had some pre-cooked bacon that I did last Friday and I wanted to use up the rest of the bacon. So what I do with my bacon, I pre-cook my bacon, get it almost all the way cooked all the way through. And then I'll, I'll uh, heat up the difference in the uh, microwave to get nice and warm a little bit. And then what I'll do at that point, it makes it a little more toastier and a little more crunchier like uh, like this. See? You get a crunch. That's center cup bacon, by the way. Very expensive though, six ninety nine a pound. I go, oh my god! Uh, 
Yeah, before the uh, baloney that happened a few years ago, there we were paying two dollars a pound, and now look at it. Um, you think you're better off now than we were then? I don't think so. The economy's terrible. Um, you know, I'm looking for bargains right now, like everybody else. Oh, I asked my wife this morning, she says, you want an English muffin? And she said, no, because I'll probably have one later. I got one left there. I bought some English muffins this past week. Again, not keto, but this is what I was talking about earlier. I've been picking up a lot of weight because I've been making some bad food choices and I want to go back to ketosis. I don't want to get go back to feeling good about myself again. So to get back on the ketosis, today we're starting an egg fast. Just to finish up the bacon and then tomorrow I'll be fully involved with the egg fasting and I'll be filming out my meals ahead of time and maybe we'll go live in the afternoon or something like that depending on how I feel, you know, how successful or unsuccessful I am. But, you know, when I when I do typically do an egg fast, I typically will lose about 8 to 10 pounds of water weight and then that helps my body to get back into ketosis which is burning it back with fuel. And I, I feel pretty good when that happens. And then you get off of the egg fast so you don't pick up the what you lost. You slowly add carbs back into the your, your uh, plan, bringing these, they're still trying to keep them what your carbs under 30 or under 20, depending on your macros. You can do strict keto, it's usually around 20 for the carbs and less. And when I was really successful with my weight loss journey in the beginning stages of 2020, that's how I got rid of all my weight. and. Uh, yeah, even my cousin there, him and his wife both had that weight loss surgery. And I looked at a photograph he just posted of him playing Santa Claus. He does Santa Claus for the kids. He gained all his weight back. So, I mean, I mean, I, I don't want to gain all my weight back for what I, what I was able to uh, lose over the last, uh, you know, uh, three years. But I, I, you know, I, I, I want, I want to get back on track there by, by doing this. And this has always helped me in the past. And then you can do some beef and butter fats. I, I love beef, I know carnivore, but you know, I, again, make sure you you educate yourself and make sure you get permission from your doctor, whatever you do regarding your health. And, and do your research because you could be doing it all wrong and not realizing it. Dr. Ken Berry, he's a certified doctor and uh, his wife, and they, they have a marvelous YouTube channel that explains all of this keto, carnivore, uh, uh, keto for um, fasting and anything you want to know he's got live videos you can ask him questions and uh, you know he you know he, they, if he can if he can answer he'll answer it and he, he, he doesn't give you baloney I mean I mean I I just want to know what what was going on with me what was going on with me I was getting really depressed and making my food bad food choices I, again you, you know you haven't had food you had in ages like pizza oh geez I want to get a pizza okay that's fine you go get a regular a regular pizza. Who, who can sit there and eat one slice of pizza? I know I have to eat the whole damn, damn sticking the, the large pizza. I'll, I'll sit down and eat the whole thing in one sitting with no problem. And then I'll have, I don't want to have a pity party because I gain weight from it. You know, one slice of pizza, just plain alone, is about 800 calories. Not to mention the carbs that are in there. So I don't know how many carbs are in one slice of pizza, but I bet you it's a lot more than 20. You know, can, can you can you do it with one slice of pizza and be, be satisfied for the entire day? I'd rather just make a, my own pizza, which I'm going to be doing later. So later today, we're going to make some easy peasy shapples. And then I'm going to put them on a uh, bacon rack and I'm going to pop it into the oven, into the broiler. And I have uh, just a little bit of uh, Reyes pizza sauce left, enough to make a few, uh, pe you know, uh, shapples. I'm going to make uh, pizza shapples with a little bit of mozzarella cheese and a little bit of sauce. And then I'll bake them off in the oven until the cheese is fully melted. And then we'll have that. So I'll show you how to make all that stuff there. But we're just going to, and, and, and again, tomorrow we'll be, we'll, we'll be on the egg fast. We'll be 100% on the egg fast tomorrow. And that's how we're going to be losing weight. I have to see who else is in it. Oh, hi, Tim. Tim, it's going good. Yeah, so I, I did, um, I just, yeah, if, if you could play back the video. What I did was I made breakfast this morning for my wife and myself. And uh, I made these marvelous, uh, yeah scrambled eggs are kind of like an egg omelet. Look at that, see that? With some bacon, look at that, huh? This came out really good. <laughs> no, my... Did that in the uh, in induction cooking, they call it, and uh, it's a new wave. 
I picked that up on QBC for $99. And, uh, I still owe three payments on it. I'll be paying that off next month then when I get my check. But, uh, they have it at Amazon. You can pick it up at 70 at Amazon. But you want, mine came with a, with a, uh, non-stick pan. And, and you have to have, uh, it has to be stainless steel on the bottom or it can't it can't be Teflon. Anything that it has to be a pan where you can put a magnet on the bottom of your pan and, and uh, that'll work on those units. And uh, yeah, so what I want to do this week is I'm going to do some more video and crank out some videos. I'm going to be making a series of easy peasy shackle recipes. I have the okra thin cheese, I have the uh, provolone, I have the baby switch, and I have the chopped cheddar. The, the, those type of cheeses, you got to cut, cut around the affinity and mini dash. I have the mini dash that makes four egg waffles at once, and then we have the smaller one that makes one. So we'll probably do both methods. I'm going to try to film on the table, but I'm going to try to keep the cat off the table. Made contact with my sister yesterday, Sunday. It was a birthday yesterday, and uh, yeah, she went to Foxwoods for two or three days. She didn't win nothing, but she had a good time. And uh, I invited her and my other sister over for Thanksgiving. I don't know if they'll come, but they a lot of times they don't know to the last minute. And, uh, you know, I'm going to be doing a butterball turkey this year. I said, why don't we get a butterball turkey for a change? And uh, we'll have that with the standard stuff that my wife likes to make. And I'll probably make myself a separate uh, keto meal. And I'll just have the turkey and keep it simple. And... Uh, I'm not going to play those games this year, but Thanksgiving, I've, I've been really abusing my body really bad, and I, I just, uh, I need to get back on track so I can feel good about myself again, and uh, I miss going and walking those long walks that I used to do, and uh, I can only go walking maybe one or two miles, not even because of my left hip area, and once that gets out, I'll be fine. Hey, did you guys see that video this morning? I, you know you know Rob Gronkowski is, or he used to play for the Patriots, and you know, with Tom Brady and the Sabos that we won. He did skydive in there this past weekend. It was showing him. He, anyways, he, scanned, he, he tandem dived out of a plane. And when he landed, he had one of the football and he spiked the, the ground spike. I thought that was pretty funny. And uh, for those of you guys and gals that have been following me for a while now, you know I want to do skydiving, but I put it on the back burner for now. But I'm looking at how, see, he landed. He landed like this. And it goes in, but your feet have to be in a perfect 45 degree angle. Because if you don't, you could go like that and bend back and have a serious accident. And if you have a serious accident, they're not responsible for you. Then you got to sign all kinds of paperwork before you go skydiving. And they give you kind of a lesson before you go. And uh, we, we checked into that last year. I'm, I'm at the appropriate weight, but do I want to go skydiving now? I don't know yet. Maybe when I'm 70, I'm thinking. And... Uh, but up in New Hampshire, they have a uh, simulated skydiving thing. But that might be an option for me, where I can go into this machine and it airlifts you up like that, and then you and it brings you down gradually. And then they also have, a, you know, like a, if you went to NASA and you went to flight training school to become an astronaut, and they put you in that uh, weightlifting machine. They have one over there, and uh, I'm thinking about going down there and checking that out sometime, and I'll film that for you guys. I think that'd be a pretty cool video. And I'm going to be doing some live videos up on the street when I go walking and stuff like that. Show you around my town a little bit. And that sort of thing. And I'm going to continue to lose the weight and continue to inspire you guys. You guys have been holding me accountable for my weight, which I really, I really, really appreciate it. Because it does, you know, we're all in this together. And, and uh, you know, I'm not giving up. I'm giving, like I said, I've given in many, many times, but I've never given up. And I don't intend to give up. And I'm going to continue to inspire as many of you guys to get out there and get healthy and be watching for a lot of amazing videos that we'll be putting together from time to time. And, uh, you know, yeah, you, you can understand my point I was making about the studio and all that stuff. Really, really, I said, really? I would never turn in a battery that's all smashed into the pot that was broken off the camera because somebody was ignorant enough not to tell the studio and owned up to something that you did. And you try, now you're trying to push the bucket line and somebody else. You know, if they take me to court or something like that, I'm going to I'm going to fight them all the way and then I'll turn around and, I, and I'll win that battle because people know who I am and they know my reputation. I'm a very responsible person when I go out on the field filming and I and I 
and I take a lot of pride and dedication for what I do and how I present myself over the internet and over my uh, YouTube channel. But that really ticked me off. I, that didn't set too well with me. I told the mayor that too. And they, they're they all not happy with that guy. That, that His review comes up for review pretty soon. And I, needless to say, I don't think they'll wind up keeping him. But they, they can get rid of him anytime. But they got to find a suitable replacement too. You know, because uh, the roads run by those that show up. And, uh, yeah, so we did the flea market Saturday and Friday. We didn't win nothing at the flea market. Uh, there was, I took a lot of raffle chances. I was going to bid on the Bruins and sell the tickets. The highest, the, the, when I, well, when I left there Saturday, I, I, uh, when I was done doing the uh, memorial thing we had this past weekend for Muggsy, I went back to the parish and I worked another four hours over there and I worked four hours on Friday night. Friday night, it was, it, it was, it, we were like this, that many people, we were so, it was like crazy. And they were coming in in droves and droves and droves, right? And, uh, you know, I, I must have turned in about $300 worth of cash there to the uh, parish afterwards because people were buying stuff in the flea market. And then uh, Saturday, it kind of like slowed down, but there was still quite a bit of people Saturday. And everybody was talking to me. Everybody know, oh, God, good. I finally got a chance to meet you. And, and uh, I, I didn't know once. So I, w I was really happy about all that. And, uh, and like I said, I talked to Jane that used to work at the studio, and uh, I talked to the um, all the city council members that you know work, that that do the city there, and a lot of them asked me to do my own Facebook page. And I talked to one of the commission members yesterday, and he said, "Yeah, I think that's a good idea, Ron." And uh, so that, so when I do another Facebook page, it'll be strictly for the city, and anybody's welcome to come in and be a member of it. But it, it'll be it, it won't be pub, it'll be public, it won't be private, and. Uh, that way there, um, you know, just, just to let you guys know what's going on. And the, and the city has their own community development page. And, and uh, you know, the mayor's got his inauguration coming up in January. I'm going to go down and take some photography of that. They'll be there filming. I'm not going to write about filming it unless I want to film it for my own personal use. But, um, yeah, so I'm so, so glad you guys were able to come in this morning and join the chat. Does anybody want to ask me anything before we, we close out or anything like that? Are you guys all good? Uh, so, but again, the egg fast is really, really simple, guys. It's a good way of getting yourself back into ketosis and getting your body back into the burning mode machine. It's basically uh, eggs every uh, so many hours, like four to six eggs, uh, you know, uh, up to so many eggs a day depending on your macros and uh you know it's it's recommended that you get uh cage-free eggs or you know organic eggs get what you can afford that's what i tell people you do you i can't afford the organic meats i get what i can afford you know i just bought a big freezer last year i mean actually this year and i, I look for sales on meat and when i find some meats that that, that you know that are uh, suitable for my daughter and i I, I, my freeze is full of meat, and uh, what do you normally prep for keto without, the, uh, what, do you, what do I normally prep for keto? Um, yeah, so what, I, what I'll do is have a whole series on that coming up. Um, what I'll do is I do like a lot of, uh, I like a lot of ground beef hamburgers that I'll make. Um, like Anne Marie, she did a nice meatloaf the other day, if you remember, yeah, I think that was yesterday. I'll make a similar, to, a similar version of it. And then what I'll usually do is I'll, I'll put some pork rind in it or I'll put some uh, Parmesan cheese in it with a couple of eggs to bind. And then I'll put a little bit of low-carb uh, uh, sugar-free ketchup or even I'll make my own uh, ketchup. You, ketchup, you could take a can of tomato paste, take a little bit of uh, brown sugar, the uh, swerve, and, and put it in with a little bit of mustard and just kind of like get it going. And then you can, and, and that's perfectly fine for keto and stuff like that and then if you want cauliflower you can take cauliflower mash and we'll do some of that we'll take a uh, some, some of the uh, cauliflower and make a cauliflower mash for mashed potatoes we'll process it in the food processor and we'll boil it up and then we'll just put a little bit of butter and some salt pepper and some right? i usually like to take uh, some fresh uh, parmesan cheese and i'll put it in and i'll, I'll get it going that way because that the parmesan gives it a really good flavor and, uh, and uh, to offset some of the uh, carbs for the holidays, that's what I'm going to use this year. I'm going to do cauliflower uh, for, mash, for a mash instead of the standard potato that I would normally would have. I'm going to lay off the breadcrumb because I don't want the, uh, the stuffing that my wife has. And, uh, you know, she, she makes a good amount of it. But what I like to do with the turkey leftover, too, my wife loves sandwiches the next day. And so do I. And I'll make it some uh, my 90-second keto bread for the sandwiches 
with some regular keto bread. I made some flaxseed keto bread a while back ago. It came out really good. I might do some more of that and get some of those mission wraps and really good to have sandwiches on with a little bit of mayonnaise. And uh, then I'll make a nice turkey soup with some of the leftover and a turkey pot pie with some of the leftover for, but for keto. And th th those are all some of the recipes that we can do for the holidays. And I got a number of recipes that I'm, I'm, I'm looking into and making some desserts for the holidays without going too fancy. My wife likes those chestnuts. We saw chestnuts in the store for the, we hadn't seen those in the store for a while. So she likes those. Typically I'd buy a custard pie, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna buy one this year. I decided that my weight's more important to me than uh, all those uh, unwanted carbs that I used to always have. And, uh, and I made it uh, on my channel there. I made a lot of recipes uh, like with Philly cheesesteaks and that sort of thing. I have some lobster tails in the freezer. I'm going to be taking those out probably later on, probably this coming weekend. On the induction cooking, I'll probably cook those up in butter. And what I'm going to do with the lobster, I'll probably make a creamy Alfredo sauce with that. And then what I'll probably will do is uh, maybe we'll add some, uh, either some fresh broccoli with that or some uh, from uh, Brussels sprouts or something like that with that. I think that would be really good maybe throw in a couple of cherry tomatoes to offset some of the color. And uh, so these are some ideas we get going forward. I, what I do every time when I go into the uh, YouTubers, I'll check and I'll research and I'll type in keto, keto meal prep and stuff like that. Keto Focus has a lot of uh, uh, recipes when it comes to that stuff and a lot of other YouTubers. And I'll, 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 I'll copy their recipe and if I actually use their recipe, I will... Um, credit them below to show more. So I'm getting ready to do a whole new show more with all the, the stuff that I'm doing. That's why there's not that much information below. But um, I do have my contact information below if you need to get a hold of me. If you live locally, I'll be gladly to uh, go walking with you and uh, that sort of thing. And yeah, speaking of that, um, a couple of Fridays ago, a couple of these uh, young ladies, they're very, very pretty young ladies, right? And they, but they, they're very, very big and uh, one of them just recently got that lap band surgery. And the last time I talked to her, she was down like uh, 22 pounds. I go, so, oh my gosh. And uh, so, and, and they follow me along. So, and I won't mention the names because I don't want to embarrass them in case they're watching the video. And uh, I, I told them, well, why don't we plan it? I'll, I'll mention that to them again this, this coming Friday when I see them, you know, about going walking with them and trying to help them out and take photographs of them, you know. Even if you don't want to post the photographs of you, what you look like before, at least you have them so you can compare yourself afterwards, you know, and it's always fun to do a comparison. So later on today, I'm going to grab out a bunch of full frame photographs. So hopefully by the end of this year, my goal, I'm in my 240s right now range. So my, my goal is to be back around 220, 225 and by the end of the year. And that's not impossible, but we'll, we'll see where I am. And then, then we'll take a whole new series of photographs before and afterwards. I also use a program called Femora 12, which I really love. And now they got a new version, version 13. It cost me $60 originally to get into it. And now then they charge me $20 a month or something like that. It's, it's very minimal, but they got a lot of great templates and they got a lot of stuff you can do with it. I can, if I, I got a green screen over here to my to my left, probably your right, but and, and it, that's easy enough with the uh, uh, AI tools. I just click on it and it removes the green screen. I can put any background or video behind me. Also, it, if you don't have a green screen, it has another AI tool where you just click it and it removes all this stuff behind me. So it, it's really really cool how it works. And uh, you know, if you're not familiar with noise reduction or like uh, like case the other day when I went out and filmed on a Saturday, I had a lot of wind and it has some nice tool features. Why are you also doing Premiere Pro also, which is more of an advanced program. And uh, so if, you, if you're not gonna, unless you do a lot of video, I wouldn't recommend Premiere, but uh, because it's an expensive program, it runs me $50 a month there, but where I'm, where I'm still kind of technically going to school for a few years, I get it for less than half the price. And uh, on the uh, Premiere, on the, uh, on the Adobe, that's Adobe Premiere, but on the Filmora, Filmora does all that also, but they make it a little bit easier, but not quite as extensive as Premiere does. And uh, the Adobe programs are marvelous. They do use Photoshop. I'm very efficient with Photoshop and uh, After Effects and other programs. 
it, you know, and, and again, I'm thinking at some point to open up a nonprofit organization somewhere and, and offer that to the city because that's just that's what I enjoy doing, helping people. I only trust me for my local farm. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I know. I'm, I'm getting a lot of uh, feedback with that too there from uh, some troopers that I've been going watching and uh, Eli was saying the other night, he said uh, he was telling me the same thing because of the stuff that they're putting in foods now and you don't know how it's processed and who processed it and actually where it came from. Did it come over here in the United States? Are they shipping it off from China or bringing it in here and they're selling it? You don't, you don't, you don't know, you know, you know. So it's just something to think about and uh, be careful with all this stuff there, you, you know. But uh, yeah, so that, that's where we're going with all this. And I hope I can, I hope I answered any questions that you needed me to answer. I mean, what I did, I did another video this morning. I'll be putting that up later in the premiere. Again, uh, don't forget to go to Anne Marie's website or YouTube channel, rather. And uh, again, she's got a lot of great videos. She does live cooking every day, and she also does um, game night uh, Sunday and Wednesday night. We did a, we made it to level 19 last night. She did a giveaway. So once I get figure that out, we'll start doing something similar, and uh, we'll offer some cash giveaways. But we'll do it in gift cards, probably Amazon or Walmart's or or Targets or Coles or any or even QVC, and. Uh, so yeah, so I'm going to get going. Thank you for coming along, watching the uh, video this morning and giving me a thumbs up and everything. Much appreciated. I'm going to finish my breakfast, clean up that mess. Don has got an appointment around noon time. I got an appointment tomorrow for the dermatologist and going to cancel that. I have uh, uh, psoriasis really bad on my uh, my leg, but um, you know, it's an autoimmune disease and I can't do nothing about it. So what I what I use, I've been finding that this has been working really well. Is this stuff right here? You can get that Walmart or anywhere. This is really, this is really good if you got dry skin. And uh, so, yeah. But anyways, thank you for coming along the journey this morning. Hope I didn't rattle on too much. And uh, you know, most is currency in stock market a U.S. farm. Is it? Yeah, yeah. I know that. I know that. We have a local farmer in uh, in our area, some farms that do that, and they can go down and get a whole side of beef there for around uh, fifteen hundred dollars. So when I'm that um, current meat that we got in our freezer is used up, I'll probably go that way and just uh, you know, you know, and I can get it. And what's great about it, they'll even deliver it to my house, and they'll cut it up specifically how I want it cut up. And uh, say like if I want a pound and a half of ground beef, they'll they'll, they'll ground it all together. And uh, you should really be eating the, uh, the, uh, the uh, you know, the liver and all that stuff there. So that if I want all that stuff there, they'll give that to me as well, you know. So and and I don't have to just isolate the order that just beef. They got chicken, they got lamb, and they got other different kinds of varieties of meat there as well. And also, I can get the fresh farm eggs because I really should be eating fresh farm eggs. So that's the way we're going. And uh, again, hope you enjoy the video. Be watching for the next video, and uh, over the next two or three days, I'll be putting in the series of, of uh, what I'm eating in a day to lose weight and for the egg fast meals to help you out in case you want to start an egg fast after the holidays or after Thanksgiving to help you guys get back on track. But I'm going to get going. You guys have an amazing day. Thank you for coming along with my journey. Love you guys. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If it does help out, have the members know when I'm posting videos. Have a great day, everybody. Stay warm and stay vigilant. Bye.